According to Tom Ferry, the well-known real estate coach, most of you know, and he's one of mine, if you do three things every day, you're gonna have a much higher success rate. He advises that whenever possible, you start your day off with these three basic tasks. Number one, marketing. Write your weekly blog for your website. Shoot a short video to send out, write your email, schedule it for the week, work on an event, execute your marketing plan. If you don't have 15 to 45 minutes devoted to executing your marketing plan on your schedule every day, it won't happen. Number two, role playing. What you say and how you say it matters. When you know what to say, you feel better about making your calls and you know how to handle those objections. Number three, appointment setting. Don't hesitate or put this off. Get on the phone, make your calls, touch base with your past clients, your sphere, they'll love you for it. When you make prospecting part of your daily routine, your potential is truly limitless. About 95% of the time I hear agents say they don't have time to execute their marketing plan or write a weekly blog or call their past clients. Really? Take the first two hours of your morning and get these things done. Sometimes calling in the evenings will get you more live answers, but leaving a message is better than not calling at all. And you know at the end of the day, we're always busy. Whether it's Tom Ferry or any other business coach, the message is going to be the same across the board. By now, everyone knows they need to have a marketing plan and execute it. Practice their conversations and call their database. It's just a matter of aligning those behaviors, fine tuning your morning routine, and making the most of every day. Now, for minding your own business. Forging solid business relationships with clients and partners may come natural to some, yet feel really, really daunting to others. Relationships require time, effort, and tact, and a lot of care. In real estate, you've got just a few weeks to get that solid personal connection with a client that's gonna have to last, and you're gonna want it to last a long time and can lead to word of mouth referrals over the years. Here's a few tips that might help. Number one, treat others the way you want to be treated. It's a classic, but it works. Number two, be honest. Never stretch the truth about your knowledge, experience, or services. It'll come back to bite you. Number three, clients are people, not numbers. The little details can have a big impact on building the relationship. Number four, keep things lighthearted. Buying or selling a home is an emotional, stressful process. Just keep calm, keep mellow. Number five, Give off a good, confident vibe. Smiling and making eye contact are great ways to ensure that a customer remembers interacting with you. While meaningful relationships take time and effort to build, they often fall apart much more quickly. Forming long-lasting, meaningful relationships is vital to your success. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again, and have a great week.